Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is James Contrast and in this video I'm gonna show you how to clone yourself for an image like this in Photoshop on the iPad Pro. Alright, so my camera is set up. The clothes is already. And the scene is ready. So I will take you guys with me, but I will speed it up for you. Start by importing your very first image. Here we go. Just make this a little bit smaller for you guys. The very first thing I want to do is to add the second image right away. Here we go and just tap on done in the transform tool. Now we're going to add a layer mask to this one and use the brush tool to paint away the first subject. Therefore, make sure that you have black selected as a color and start by using a rather big brush for that. Hardness should be around 30% for this one. So now just paint away the subject. You can do this real quick. Just like that. And now all you're gonna do is to go to the adjustment and filter option and choose invert. And boom, we already have two of me in this picture. So let's move on with the third picture. Insert again. Choose that one. Happy with that. And add an, another layer mask. And we do the same as before. Choose black brush and start painting away. If we take a look at this one, invert again, looks pretty decent so far. Now for a clone project like this, it is very important to have enough space between your subjects to realize this picture and to save a lot of time in editing. I will insert my very last image, happy with that again. Let's add another layer mask and start again with brushing away myself. And right now, as you can see, I'm painting in my other self from a previous picture, but that is not that big of a problem. Let's invert that again and now we gotta zoom in and fix this real quick. So let's make the brush a little smaller and even the hardness smaller too. And now I can start painting this part into the picture again until I'm happy with the result. So I think I need this part of my left knee in front of my right knee of that guy. And there should be the whole part of my left hand as well. So if we zoom out now you can see that it looks reasonable but still we have that gap in between. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll 
change to white and really go close this time and make my brush smaller again and be as precise as possible right now. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, looks pretty decent. I think I'm happy with that. Well guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more free content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.